I've been looking for a while for a compact pump. For cyclists, a pump is a necessity. And for a van, space is a premium. I think we found something that satisfies both of these. This is what we've been taking. This is the Bontrager Charger. It's a good pump, gauge down here at the bottom. Pumps very easily. It has a good um, reversible head on it. This one is what I found. This is a specialized Compaq air tool. C-O-M-P-A-K as you can see on it. And it has a gauge which is this inflated part in the hose. It has a screw on head for the Presta or Schrader valve. Works on both. I gotta tell you, I really like it. it takes up a lot less room and we're gonna find a permanent storage place for it in the van. So the handle is removed by depressing this button and it comes right off. To attach it, you move the hose off the top we're going to push the button on the handle again, insert that button into the top of the pump. You can see how it pumps. And you have uh, feet that flip down. You can stand on the feet, put it, put it on the floor. The hose itself screws on to Presta or Schrader and it's just a simple switch like that so it's I had it I have it for Presta and like this it goes on Schrader if you don't know the difference the Schrader is the type of valve you have on your automotive tires Presta is one that you look at it and you think this is the inside of a valve well, and that's pretty much what it is so it's a long skinny thing and, and this will just screw right on. It's difficult to see that it actually turns because it's all, everything's black here, but I'm holding on to the base as I screw. Maybe you can see at this angle a little bit better. So it screws right on and it screws right off. And then here we have the gauge. The gauge, this pump will go up to 200 PSI. This has both PSI as well as BAR, and that's B-A-R, which is another unit of air pressure measure. And let's see if I can demonstrate this. There we go. You can see those numbers. I can only put so much in it because I'm holding down with my thumb. But you have PSI on one side and then you have bar on the other. And there's the bar. PSI. And bar. Another neat thing about this pump, in addition to its diminutive size, the handle has storage. So the ends screw off and on one end we have tire lever storage. And the tire levers come with the pump as well as the case comes with the pump. And then on the other end, if I remember correctly, I've had it open once, we have uh, patches in here. So these are dry, no glue required patches that store in the opposite end. If you are running tubeless, of course you can put your tubeless repair kit in here. Put this back on. So there is a groove in the top here which aligns with a bar that's deep inside here. It's difficult to see. 
so the best way to remember is this groove and the handle should be parallel as long as they're parallel everything should fit so you push down you press the button just a tad you hear it click and you know you have a good connection and then you pump away when you're finished hold the piston depress the button pulls off and then it's going to store right here storage direction is pretty easy because you know you're minimizing the size so press and push just like that then the hose now the hose pivots down here at the bottom I'm gonna make sure it's pivoted up and it's gonna go right in that little groove that's in the piston and clip on here once it's clipped on and the feet are folded up it's ready to be reinserted back into its case for some super easy storage I mean I could put it in there if I wanted a lot of places I could put this I do have plans for where I will be putting this air tool compact hope you got something out of this video I want to thank you for watching if you got something out of it, give us a thumbs up. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.